Now, I'm going to show you how to tie, this is a simple parachute fly. Now, this is a, a pattern that's been basically working extremely well for me for the last few times I've been out. Now, it's easily, it's very easy to tie. The thread colour, you can easily change. Now, in this case, I'm using an olive, just a uni 8 uh, You can use a k-hull, you can use a dark brown. Uh, there's many colours you could use, so... But the olive, it's, it works extremely well. So it's quite simple. First thing I do is pull off some thread and run the wax through it. I'll get it started. I've started the eye, and then we work our way down. And about halfway, and then remove the base piece. Now what I'm going to do is come back up halfway, and then tie in the wing and the hackle. Now the wing is, you could use quite a few things for the wing. I'm just using two very small, CDC feathers, these are the natural grey. Now they will, if you tie them so that the, the feathers are coming away from one another. And then basically tie them on top. Make sure they're lined up. Just tie it, make sure there we are, lined up. Pull the fibres in. Just check they're sitting right. You're looking for at least the body length of the hook, hook length for the, for the wing. It can be slightly longer, it's entirely up to yourself. Just catch that on the top with a couple of turns. See how it's sitting anyway. And I'll check the length. If you think it's just a tad too long, you can always pull it in at this point. I like to put a wee turn or so at the front just to lock it or lift it slightly so I can see where I am. You can see the length better there. Then we can trim away the excess slight angled cut from the back. This will help you to taper the body. Now you're going to use a very pale olive cock hackle. This is a genetic neck. Now you just need a small feather. Now this is, if you look, it's an olive now washed back. It's a washed back olive. You really got to put into dye. Uh, very, not very much dye and wash it back slightly. Uh, but you can buy it. Just buy a, a light olive and do it. Now, I've been tying up many of these flies, I'm kind of getting short and hackles, so go in here. And the first thing I do is just remove the fluff from the bottom, we tie it, set it slightly facing forward, and then what I'm going to do then is post both the wing and the hackle together. Now you want to bring the thread up. A good mill or so, then back down. You need that to post to form your parachute. Now, just to check, it. it's fine. Then we lock this in, and then the waist piece of the, as you can see, the hackle is towards the back. And then I run the thread down. Now, what I'm going to do is trim away this waist piece, and then carry one down for the tail fibres. The tapered cut, you should get a tapered body. Get right towards the back of the hook. Now I've got the same cape, one of the bigger feathers. Now I'm going to put a, don't be shy with these fibres, put a few on because this is going to form the top half of the body as well. So I'll show you what I mean when I tie them on. So if you bring the tail fibres 90 degrees from the stem, you'll see the tips all line up. It's quite hard to see there, but they will line up. Tear them away. And then what we want to do, a length, tail length, minimum is the hook length and a wee touch. So catch that on the top, on the bare hook, come underneath the fibres, use that turn to lift and separate the fibres, like that. I say don't be shy with these. Now make sure you wax your thread. Now what I want to do is, these fibres, I want to use this as part of the body, so what I'm going to do is come up, and rib the fly with the thread, as you can see on the top. Now I'm really tight, and as I say, the thread's waxed, so there's plenty of grip. Just work your way up. There we are. Now that makes for a really nice body. Make sure it's on the top. Now what I'm going to do here is trim away the waist.
then obviously tiny that area up. I'm going to use a mole for dubbing. This one here. Got a wee bit of UV in it, but I mixed that in there, so you could just use a normal, a fine grey dubbing is ideal. Slide this up. Tidy the thorax area up. Now I'm doing this side first. Pull back the dubbing so you can finish off the front, but before I do that I'm going to wind the hackle. Now it's quite simple really to wind the hackles. Got to hold the tips of the CDC and then wind one turn under the other, nice and tight as you come round, change fingers. Now you don't need a lot of turns. Okay, that's fine. Now I'm going to lift fibres up out of the way. Now what I'm going to do is put my nail and my thumb onto the side of the hackle and then bring the thread up a couple of turns. Tighten up. Keeping a hold of these fibres and we trim away the waste. Slide up the dubbin and then put the dubbin on and then wind through the dubbin slightly towards the eye. Let this go. To finish the fly off, it's much easier to, to varnish it when you whip it on. It is a bit fiddly, but you do get used to it. Any fibres going forward, just stroke them back with your finger. At least three turns of the whip finish. And then trim away. Now we can bring back down the hackle, we can basically flatten it slightly. We have to flatten the wing a wee bit, but you can bring the wing back up. And that's all we need. It's a very it's a sparse fly, but it floats extremely well. You need the tail fibres, it's important that you have the tail fibres. Uh, that does balance the fly and adds colour and uh, just check see how things look. There we go. Very simple fly to tie and that's it. You can see the effect you get with the, the hackle on the back. It does add colour to the fly. Uh, I find it works extremely well so it keeps things quite slim and you see don't be shy with the tail. Balances the fly. The fish love it. So I hope you enjoyed that.